Hi, it's Marita. Thank you so much for tuning in in today's video. I want to talk about E2 visa investment examples. So what are the examples for E2 visa investors? Stay tuned. Coming up. All right, guys, before I dive deeper, I do want to say that I already made a video, two recent videos, E2 visa 2021 requirements, how to apply, as well as E2 visa investment requirement for 2020. One. So if you haven't seen these videos, you definitely want to check them out. So in this video, I do want to focus on E2 visa investment examples because this is frequently asked question that I'm actually getting from many of you guys. I've been serving E2 investors for 10 years now. I was myself on E2 visa. So I've done this uh, many, many times. And this is a frequently asked question. People always ask me, what's the example? Where can I invest my money? What kind of business should I start? So let's break it down for you. So number one tip for you is to understand that you can invest into any kind of business as long as the active, as long as the business is active and real. Okay. So if it's speculation, if it's passive investment, this wouldn't count. So for example, if you're investing into real estate property, if you are buying a property, let's say two, three million dollars, you already invested, you bought this property, you cannot really apply for E2 visa because this would be considered passive investment. You have to invest actively or you have to be in a process of investing and you have to be engaged with the business, preferably on day to day basis. So essentially, this means that if you're investing into real estate, this would be considered passive investment. So you have to find a business model that is actually active and is real and your business must be operational. So, for example, with the real estate investment, you can turn it into flip and fix property type of business model um, or Airbnb, seasonal rental, etc. This is just an example, right? Uh, however, if it's just a pure investment, passive investment, this would not count towards E2 investment. So to answer your question again, like what is the example of E2 visa? Well, it depends on you. It depends on your skills and your background because you have to understand like E2 visa. It's a complex visa for people who are business owners or entrepreneurs and who are capable of running and operating a business because one of the requirements is that the business must not be marginal. So this actually means that you must show by evidence that your business is profitable and is actually making more than your minimum living expenses. So this is calculated based on location where you're going to live and the business model and your living expenses yourself and your family. If you bring your family members with you. So again, like we talk about real business we're talking about real investors people who are capable of actually managing their company and it's not just speculation right if you just want to wire funds and pretend you are an investor that's not going to work because you have to show that you are able capable running and generate money and potentially hire people and create jobs and enhance the economy especially now during covid19 situation pandemic keep this in mind we're talking about real real business okay so guys, again, let's go back to that question. What is the example of investment? And again, it depends. Based on my experience, I have worked with people who invested into service based businesses, people who invested into um, tech startups, people who invested into online businesses, online coaching, consulting. But this was always combined with the actual um, actual service within the United States, physical location, because if you just do a business that is 100% online, then it's a little bit questionable. In fact, I made a video. If YouTubers can apply for E2 visa, I'm going to link it for you because this might be interesting. Some of you are asking this question. So if you 100% operate your business online and then you don't necessarily need to be present in the United States, why should you get E2 visa? You know what I mean? But like on the other hand, these days, many businesses are going online. And if your business is not online, Online, you should consider going online so you have to find the balance right like and even when you're preparing the evidence you need to find a balance so keep that in mind and you can invest into any kind of business as long as it's active as long as it's real so let me give you exactly examples of businesses I have helped for example beauty salons okay aromatherapy business um, massage therapy business restaurants coffee shops bakeries in that case, we're also talking about buying existing business because you can actually invest into a franchise, you can actually buy existing business, or you can start your own business, your own small coffee shop or bakery shop. Even though these days I would be careful with this business model given the circumstances, right? Now let's talk about consulting, coaching businesses. 
these business models are usually online i have helped people who actually came to me after nine other lawyers told them they cannot get e2 visa because this model wouldn't work and it was coaching business mostly coaching online consulting business and uh, the client got approved uh, so again, like you have to keep that in mind that you have to create a business model around the E2 visa requirement, but also a model that's going to serve you as a business owner, right? Uh, so coaching, consulting service type of businesses definitely work. Law firm, accounting firms definitely work. Uh, truck company definitely works. Um, startup companies, tech startup companies definitely work. Uh, in that case, people are raising funds and keep that in mind, just because you're raising funds, you're giving away your equity, you still need to show that you are investing in your company, right? And so if you plan to just raise funds and give away your equity and you're not really investing, it's gonna be difficult for you to get the E2 visa. So you have to actually participate in the investment one of the requirements is that you are bearing the risk of investment as an investor. So you need to keep that in mind. Of course, you can raise funds. Of course, you want to do that. But at the same time, you need to keep at least 50% in the company, especially if you are partnering up with people who are not from the treaty country, who are not from your treaty country, in this case with Americans, right? Um, and you can definitely uh, make it happen this way. So really to answer it properly, you can start any kind of online business, any kind of offline business, but you have to understand that you have to meet the requirements, which is the marginality. The business must not be marginal. You have to be actively engaged with the business, but the business must be real, um, not speculation. And also you have to invest substantial amount of capital, right? And that is calculated based on your business startup cost, uh, which really differ. Uh, if somebody tells you you have to invest 100,000, that's not accurate information. I have helped people who invested less than 100,000. They got it to approve. They invested 50K, 60, 60K, 70K. It really depends, guys. But again, don't take it literally because people like to take everything literally and they like to think that, oh, 50,000 is the minimum investment. That's not true. That's not accurate information because 50,000 might be sufficient for you, but not for other investors. So you have to understand that, okay? If you guys have any question, comments, um, you can certainly book a consultation with me. The link is going to be below this video. Lastly, I wanna say I have a free training for E2 investors. People wanna get E2 visa in 2020, in 2021. By the way, you can get E2 visa during pandemic. You can even travel to the United States under E2 visa. US is welcoming E2, E2, E2 visa investors. And I do have a free training that is going to help you understand the requirements and go deeper. The free training link is going to be below this video. So definitely check it out. You're gonna find a lot of useful information. And if you find this video useful, please do share it, like this video, give this information to other people, especially investors, people who want to start their companies. Like I said, I am expert with E2 visas. I'm focusing on serving E2 investors. I do have a program, a discounted program, um, do-it-yourself program. Um, link is going to be below this video with my guidance if you are interested. Of course, if you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me, you can first schedule the call and then we go from there. I like to discuss everything first on the call before I see if we are a good fit to work together. And I hope that you are finding this information useful. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay tuned for upcoming videos. And I also want to point out there are going to be very useful places playlist here for you. One is the E2 visa free training, bunch of free videos, and also another one, everything you need to know if you are applying for E2 visa. So worth checking out. And that's that all I got for you today. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.